got one of these things. Let's get our full blown acceleration. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over a modified Toyota Tundra TRD. But first and foremost, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Tundra. Check out the inventory link below. This truck's actually for sale right now. It is pre-owned. It was owned by a Toyota mechanic, which is pretty neat. Now, I didn't have any chance to research this truck beforehand. I just saw it driving in here, and I was like, this thing's cool. You guys are probably gonna see it, so let's have fun walking around it. So under the hood, we have a 5.7 liter V8 that goes through a six speed automatic transmission. Now power puts are 381 horsepower and then 401 pound feet of torque. And the average fuel economy I saw on the gauge cluster for this truck is 10.3 miles per gallon. Now let's go over the front end of the Tundra. So first off, you've got the cool venting there on the hood. And I don't know the name of this color, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's an orange with a gold metallic flake. It looks so fantastic there in the sunlight. You've got the LED lights, fog lights down below with the chrome portion on the bumper and then the blacked up portion there in the center. The Toyota logo that doubles as a sensor, but yeah, there's the front end of this Tundra. Now coming around the side here, we've got 17 inch wheels and wrapped around that we've got 35s in the front and in the rear. Love the beadlock look on the wheels and how you've got the orange to match the exterior paint. Now again, this is where I, again, haven't had time to really research the truck. So I'm just gonna show you guys what this has. It looks like we've got some upgraded shocks, a little bit of a lift as well, and a change in suspension here in the front. And then let me show you guys what's happening there in the rear with the truck. And I'll just kind of talk about how this feels compared to a stock Tundra, but there's a look at everything i would be able to have more information if i had some time to research this but like this was just completely on the fly <laughs> and uh yeah there's your side view now let's pop in the back of the tundra so first off the payload on this truck's 1265 pounds and it looks like you've got the tundra mat here in the rear of it and other than that there's not much else to go over with the bed so uh well see ya oh it does have the little sliders there on the side but anyways now, so yeah. Now, going over the rest of the rear, first off, tongue capacity on the Tundras is about 10,000 pounds, roughly. You've got the Tundra logo right there. You've got the gigantic taillights, parking sensors here all along the rear, and well, that's the rest of the back. Now, let's go over the door panel here in the rear. So, first off, you got all these soft touch here at the top, and where you're gonna rest your arm, it's kind of just like rubber right down there. And then here are the seats in the back of the Tundra. You see full cloth here, you've got the cloth in the center. This is actually really soft. Um, but, anyways, you've got this little lever here, you can pick up the seat, you got some storage underneath the seat, and then you guys can see the loading floor and everything. Got some vents. Now, uh, getting in is kind of difficult, so I'm gonna have to switch hands. Gotta like grab onto the grab handle and uh, kind of. <laughs> It's it's definitely difficult, but once you're in here, there's tons. I mean, like, look at this. I am lounging. I almost have my legs. I'm 5'11". I can pretty much have my legs like almost all the way straight, but that's the back of the Tundra. Now let's go over the door panel here in the front. So again, you've got the leather up here and then you've got the soft touch down below. It's rubber trim. All of your window controls. And then here the seats at the front. Again, full cloth here with the cloth in the center. The seat is power adjustable. There's the pedal layout and then you've got all of your mirror adjustments, light controls, all that kind of stuff, and that's for the rear window. Steering wheel, in that little area, it is manually adjustable, and there's one more look before we pop in. Now here's the steering wheel in the Tundra. So you guys can see things are pretty basic here with the material use on the steering wheel. And then you've got your pages button, collision assistance, and then your lane departure assistance, phone controls, voice command, volume controls on the other side. Stock there for the lights and turn signal, and then stock for the windshield wipers, and that's all for the steering wheel. Here's a gauge cluster with the Tundra. You can see you've got mostly analog gauges. The thing I want to show you guys though, fuel economy, 10.3 miles per gallon on average. <laughs> That's all for that center st stack. Now coming to the infotainment system, if we pop into reverse, you've got the backup camera that pops up. The trajectory lines do not turn with the steering wheel. It just kind of stays there and does its own thing. As for the rest of the infotainment system, we've got the shortcut buttons, which are pretty easy to use. I mean, happens pretty instantaneously. And then response time with the screen is also solid. I mean, you press the buttons and pretty much happens right away. Definitely has an older look to it, but it functions nicely. In this little area, we've got all of our climate controls. This does have just a single zone climate. And you've got your drive line selects. You've got your two wheel drive, your four wheel high, and then your four wheel low. 
We got the shifter for that six speed automatic. You do have a manual shift function. A couple cup holders, some more cup holders, auxiliary switch in that area. And then we have the center console here, which let's move those Corolla keys. Opening it up, it is absolutely massive. It says SR5 there on the top. And then opening up the glove box, you guys can see storage base is pretty good in there. And then, yeah, that's all for that. Up top here, we've got our sunglass holder, and then you've got a lighter colored headliner for the rest of the top. And other than that, that's everything for up top. Now that we're done going over the interior on this Tundra, let's quickly get into some of the specs on the truck. So in terms of mileage, this truck has about 34,000 miles. And right now the market on Tundras is very aggressive. So you cannot order a new one anymore. And there's talks that they're gonna redesign quite a bit with the 2022 Tundra. So it's made these older ones go up in value. And so right now the market on this is in like the 50 to $54,000 range, which is crazy. But yeah, anyways, if you want the most up-to-date price on this particular truck, check out Toyota Murray's website so you can see that. But let's take her out and see how she drives. Got one of these things. Let's talk about visibility here in this modified Tundra before we set off so you guys can see visibility of the hood. It's pretty much just like any other Tundra. And I'll move that out of this place so it doesn't get in the way. Anyways, you just hire up off the ground. This does have blind spot monitoring and then you can see visibility throughout the rest of the rear, which is all really good. And that all being said, let's set off. So we are setting off here in this modified Tundra and it'll be pretty interesting to drive because I think that, yeah, up to this point, I've only driven stock uh tundra so this will definitely be an interesting experience for me uh, so initially setting off it feels like it rides roughly the same as a regular tundra you can definitely feel that you're higher up off the ground and there's a little bit more motion with the truck uh, but i wouldn't say that it's any rougher braking feel feels about the same as well which i definitely think is a nice little touch uh, this definitely has a ton of road presence just because of the sheer size of the truck now really setting off here in this modified tundra let's get up and moving and see how it goes acceleration doesn't feel too bad just kind of getting up and going at a slower pace and again we'll get a full-blown acceleration a little bit later uh, but it's it's pretty decent and it rides relatively smooth which i'm impressed with if you guys are wondering why the steering wheel is turned it's because this road slants slightly to the side uh, just for water drainage and so that's why I'm slanted a little bit it's not because it's got crooked steering or anything like that just want to mention that because some people think things like that when I drive lifted trucks like this uh, but yeah I mean it's it actually rides really smooth I'm, I'm pretty impressed I didn't think it would ride this smooth and I want to see what the turn ins like up here again like I said brakes still feel uh, pretty good yeah stopping power still feels pretty much the same so they'll let those people in but they wouldn't let me in earlier i see how it is we've got double standards because i'm driving a big lifted truck just kidding but i should be able to get a turn up here and see how the handling is with the truck steering is super light Ooh, definitely floaty definitely floaty <laughs> handling well it it handles um not necessarily the best but i mean it's a big lifted truck so that's kind of what you expect uh, but you're going to gain a lot in ground clearance and all that kind of stuff which is good for the off-road but what i'd say so far rides smooth rides nice uh, the shocks absorb everything pretty well on this truck so from an off-roading perspective it actually be pretty comfortable on the off-road with how these shocks are set up with this particular tundra yeah going over these covers doesn't upset it at all i'm excited to go over the train tracks up here because That'll really show us how well this is at absorbing stuff because the train tracks are always pretty bumpy to go over. Yeah, there's quite a bit of uh, on center vagueness with the steering, but let's see how it does over the train tracks. I mean, you hear it and you definitely feel it, but it's, it's pretty good. Let's get our full blown acceleration. feels slightly slower than a stock tundra but it's not a huge difference it, it's it's definitely slower but it's not like night and day slower but you you there is a perceivable difference with it what is this person doing you guys see that they're kind of like drove this this turned from a tundra review into a uh review of people driving weird today but let's kind of get into summing things up here with 
this tundra that's modified. So first off, I think it looks great on the outside. I love the orange paint with the gold flake that this came with from the factory. Comment down below what the uh, stock color is because I don't remember the name of this particular color. And then I love the orange accenting there on the wheels too. I think that's a nice touch. And then, I mean, this is pretty much a baseline interior. It's got all the nice creature comforts that you want, but it's not crazy in terms of all the stuff that it has on the interior. So there's not too much going on here. So it's kind of like you got the cool exterior and then you just get like the really basic interior, which I know a lot of people like that. And then from a driving perspective, I mean, it drives okay. Uh, I'm surprised that it doesn't drive smoother considering all the money that's been put into this truck. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the type of shocks that this has and everything, but uh, it feels like, it, it pretty much feels like a lifted Toyota Tundra TRD Pro, which, I mean, that's not a bad place to be, but I, I mean, me personally, I'd almost lean towards getting a TRD Pro over this and then just putting more aggressive tires on the TRD Pro because those ones don't come with the most aggressive tires from the factory. Yeah, I mean, turn in's okay, but it's it's not crazy good. It definitely does feel like a big uh, truck. Kind of reminds me of my Ram TRX with how big and substantial it feels, which I know that's definitely a nice thing on the road. Uh, but yeah, I still think this is a cool build. And I mean, the Tundras right now, they're, I mean, they've always held their value well, but right now the values are crazy on them. So yeah, if you're looking for a modified Tundra, they have one. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Now that is going to sum things up for our video on this modified Toyota Tundra. And again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Toyota here in Murray for giving me some time with this Tundra. Check out the inventory link below. See all of you in the next video.